Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I've got a bit of a completion review for you of a few of the uh, Disney items that I've got and these are fully legally licensed Disney items. Um, and then I want to do a bit of house housekeeping and put some of my gems and drills away. Um, I'm trying to do a catalogue and a new container for all my special drills. I've got all these in here. These are the craft buddy ones at this side that all had numbers on. So I'm trying to keep those numbers as they are um, and see if I can then put some of my others, uh, the older ones and kits that haven't had um, the craft buddy numbers on, um, in with them as well. So what I'm doing is these um, crystal art ones first. Uh, because I know they've all got gems and then I've got some more to do later on and then we can see how we go and build them up from there. So we'll see what happens with these. So let's have a look at the uh, notebook first of all. I love these notebooks. Um, I'm getting quite a collection of them now. Uh, watch out family and friends, you may be getting them for Christmas. <laughs> um, it has the uh, little key code there and on these it always shows you the part that's actually got the gems and drills on and then the full picture so you can see that it's just a partial this one now i have sealed this one um <laughs> long story short i did do um a sealing video for all my notebooks and it's vanished into the ether i don't know what i've done with it so i do apologize i will do some more um sealing videos but i've used the craft art sealer uh, just put a thin layer on top and it then just stops all the drills from moving i think you can see these drills ain't going anywhere they're well and truly stuck so if you're wanting to use this put it in and out of bags or in and off uh, on and off shelves and things those drills aren't now going to come off they're completely sealed and as you can see the sealer doesn't take away any of that sparkle look at that wow oh and one of the neighbors has just decided to start cutting their lawn so i don't know whether you'll, it'll pick this up but uh, yeah <laughs> oh dear right okay right and i'm back i hope now that that's <laughs> i was gonna say not quite as noisy I've closed the window because it's a little bit warm at the moment. Um, but yeah, so I do apologise. Hopefully it won't show up too much. So while I've uh, shut the window, I've just thought I'd show you the other two notebooks, which is the uh, Unicorn Smile, which is just so cute. And then, oh, the skull, the skull. So these were all on my... Um, unfortunate video <laughs> my ceiling video that i lost but as you can see you can get something for everyone in these uh, notebooks look at those teeth that is just i oh, just can't get away from those teeth they're just amazing <laughs> but as you can see using the sealer on these does not detract from that sparkle whatsoever look at that Gems, all the AB coatings still show up, and the pearl on the oh, teeth. <laughs> but yeah, even the black drills have still got their sparkle, even though they've got the coating on. And as you can see, if you just wipe around your edges on your black, obviously don't put the sealer unless you want your book um, to be shiny. Then you, know, you could do the whole of the background as well. But uh, yeah, just wipe around the edge with this um, and it just you know stops it from having smears or whatever on the edges but yeah that is just superb look at those gems there oh just love that so much that yeah hubby's claimed this one he wants this one but i said well only if he keeps letting me have a look at the teeth every now and again <laughs> i have to keep popping back and seeing them Okay, yeah, so they're well and truly stuck. Those gems are not going anywhere. If you give them a push or a shove, they're well and truly sealed. Now, Craft Buddy do recommend that you wipe your sealer off um, with a lint-free cloth um, or a dry baby wipe. But to be fair, 
I haven't and I don't because it dries clear anyway so I don't really think you need to but obviously it's personal preference um, if you use a lot of sealer I'm very frugal I don't like using a lot of anything <laughs> so uh, possibly because I don't put a huge coating on uh, maybe I get away with it I don't know but I, I've never wiped away um, the sealer from the gems because it dries clear and I think it just to be honest makes it look more sparkly uh, all I do is just wipe, wipe around the edges if it's a partial so yeah so that's a skull notebook nice hardback book as well so that's that one I just thought I'd pop these into this video to show you um while we're doing the Lion King one as well and then look at that yeah I've done those and I've even done the stars look so I'm really putting pressure on that star and that is not moving anywhere. Can you see? I don't know if you can see that. Giving it a real good push. My thumb's going white and it's not moving. So even just putting sealer around the stars there has stopped them from coming off. And get your little flowers. And again, the sparkle is still there. And I just wiped any edges, around any edges just to keep the matte finish on the actual uh, area around the unicorn and the rainbow but everything else I just put with sealer and I just left it to dry I've not wiped my sealer off but uh, yeah that's a little cute smiley so I think that one's for me well as long as I can get it to last anyway and uh, I'm going to keep lists of my diamond paintings in here as I've said before you've got little dots top um, and bottom of your pages so I'm going to make these into grids and uh, I'll show you when I've done that but yeah so that's my little smiley unicorn or unicorn smile as they call it but yeah it's really sweet okay so back to Lion King so yeah good hardback books oh just bear with me a second the phone's ringing now oh dear I'm back I'm convinced there's a conspiracy out there to <laughs> stop me from filming today so yeah uh, never mind okay so we're back so yes yeah, so that's uh, Lion King all done and I've got my key code look at all the spare drills I've got <laughs> I just can't believe that oh dear right so just pop the box out the way so I don't need that I don't think there's anything else in the box no that's fine just pop that out the way Okay, so we want that, and then we want all these diamonds, so let's put them in order, should have done this earlier, look, let's see, that's A, C, that's D, that's J, K, N E that's D L that's M and F oh, D and E F so that's those what's that one that is that D Oh, that's B. Oh, that's that's uh, <laughs> I sneak that one in on me. Look, so that's A, A, C, D, E, F. Oh, I've got Millie shoving my feet round the underneath the desk now as well. G. <laughs> H. It's not enough to see now. Where was I? Where was I? <laughs> uh, I... Oops. J. K. Oh. Um. 
Oh, it's L, sorry, L. B. <laughs> MN. And I've got some spares there. I think they're ones that I spilt. Um, and I wasn't sure what colour they were. So I'll put those out of the way over there. Right, so that's those all in order now. So that's those ready to be put away. Now they're all normal drills. There's no specials in there. So they'll just go into my normal drill storage. Okay. Stand those over there with that. And then these, there's lots in there. Look how many we've got in there. A mixture of your crystal drills. Look at the B. I love the B. I hadn't noticed the B until I did um, the diamond painting. I'd seen the butterflies, but the B just didn't stand out to me at all. And look, he always got his little ear over his eyes, all shy. So, yeah, so that's Winnie the Pooh. Again, superb quality gems. Love these. And resin drills. So, yeah, look at all those colours there. This is going to take some getting in order. Okay, so let's do these. I may skip this part of the video because you'll be bored watching this. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so we have maybe I'm best doing these one at the top. I don't know. C, D, B, C, D, E, F, G, looks B, H then, H, I. Right, okay, I've got all those drills in order. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> No, I want that on top down until I let me put my card back in my bag. Okay, so yeah, I've uh, enjoyed doing these cards. And, uh, the putting away is going to be fun, but it's going to be worth it because it's going to get me organised and that's what I need to do. And then finally, we've got Nala and Simba. Look at that. Oh, are they cute. And it's just the tree that's got the gems in it, but it just makes it sparkle. That little bit more. I've not sealed these. Um, I didn't put any sealer on these because, to be honest, the drills will stay on the cards, um, depending on what people are going to do with them. But I've not had anybody say that the gems have fallen off. So yeah, so that's uh, that one. So let's get these gems out. Not quite as many in this one. Ooh. And they've all just gone inside the envelope. <laughs> oh, I've still got the plastic cover in that one. Don't want that. Okay, so let's just get that put back in there. And let's put these in order now. So we have, these will be a bit quicker. Uh, if I can see it. Uh, oh, that's an H. Okay. A, D, 
don't want that one is. I'll have to turn that one right way around. B. I think what I'll have to do when I'm doing these is try and keep them in order when I do them. And it'll make kitting down that bit easier. G. G, H. So, yeah, that's the two crystals at the end. So, that's E. E, B. That's F. So, that must be C. A, B, C. D. F G H so that's those okay so we're all in order there as well all right so let's see if we can get some of these put away let's put my cards there so I'm going to be trying to work from three again if you remember when I did this before it didn't go wholly to plan but we'll uh, try again so what's our first number? We've got 300 on there and 317 on there. I think these, yeah, these all look like they are in order. Okay, so we want box number one. What's behind box number one? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, mum rang me up. Um, can you order me some plants? So I've just had to do a quick plant order for my mum while I, I was trying to do my uh, de kitty. But hey ho, and the next door neighbour has finished doing his front lawn now. So that's really good. Right, so we want number 300, which is this one. So let's be in the 300s. This is my brilliant Rebecca storage. And I'll put the link down below so you know you're wanting to do some yourself let me get my trays as well look i'm not very organized today let's get a phone call <laughs> oh dear i think what i'm going to do is tip them into the tray because that bag's a bit thin plastic and it's not a very good bag and then i can throw those away uh, sort the plastic out from the other bits later see whether anything can be recycled or not okay so that's 300 done there and we've got 307 that's 317 so we want the 307 which is the lovely yellow color let me have a look that's that one so hubby's not feeling brilliantly well today so i've uh, He's been uh, sick a little bit, um, so I've been scooting backwards and forwards, making sure he's okay. But he's just gone to sleep at the moment. I've just got him all nice and comfy. Well, he was until the phone rang, so it took me a while. There's been quite a while in between me starting this video and now. But uh, yeah, he's doing all right now. So I think it's just um, something that he's eaten. But we've got hospital visits tomorrow, so it could be getting himself worked up about that. He doesn't like hospitals, to be fair, who does? Um, right, so 317 is the next one, and that one is A, which is there. So, yeah. Let's get that one out. This one's a little bit better bag. Shall we see if we can do this one? I'm on an awkward angle today. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying not to get as much shadow on my videos. And uh, that's not working brilliantly well. But we'll keep trying. I think I'm going to have to switch rooms and start videoing downstairs. Um, and hope that the brighter rooms don't have a load of glare. So... We'll just wait and see on that one. I want to try and make the best videos that I can for my subscribers. All few of you that you are at the moment, but thank you ever so much. It is really appreciated. Um, I didn't even know I'd get anybody watching me, to be fair. It is uh, just something I'm doing for me. So, uh, 415, it's just... A way of suddenly becoming sort of your own person a little bit again and um, oh where's that one gone then have i put it in the wrong one i've only got the 
ah 415 will be downstairs because i had to <laughs> if um you saw my westy uh, unboxing and saw me uh, managed to throw them all over uh, sorry my westy completion review i managed to throw all the um 415 drills all over the floor so i think that one is possibly still downstairs with my westy so i'll just pop that one on one side and I'll put the, actually no, what I'll do, I'll put them in the 415 spot and then I know when they bring the bag back upstairs where they are so I don't lose them. Okay, so next one. Uh, that one. So on 433, which is this one, which is E433. Okay, and... Ooh, that looks a really different colour. Am I in the right one? D? No, it's D. So where's D gone? Oh, D. Oh, gosh, it's a good job I'm checking. That's D, look. Oh, dear, Liz. <laughs> that was uh, nearly a disaster. Well, nearly a disaster. Not quite. Actually, what I did the other day, um, I did, as I was putting some drills back, I put them back in the wrong section on my store, on my um, little pots as I was going through. So what I did, um, I did both of the letters at once. I just tipped the thing that was mixed into the tray and I just worked on both the letters at once from the one tray until it was down to two or three drills um, and then just put them back in the right trays rather than trying to then sit and sort them all out. So I'm going to be using them anyway, so I don't need to do that. So that worked out fairly well. Right, 435 is in both of these. So we've got 435 and 435. So that's good. I'll tip those out. Okay, just get rid of that little bag over there. So yeah, it's... Uh, funny all day today it's warm in the house and i have turned the heating off because it's got so warm in the house but outside there's quite a big wind blowing a really strong wind i'll have to watch that sound four three five that's better get the right colors okay oops To my granddaughter's birthday as well so i need to be looking what card i want for her 436 is on this one and this one yep they're the same color so 435436 she wanted a hedgehog for christmas so oops i'm not quite sure what she wants for her birthday whether it's still a hedgehog I know she's having a mermaid themed birthday party so we are starting to get um, a few restrictions lifted now so she can have a few little friends around so all mermaids so I'm not sure whether I'm doing her a hedgehog card or a mermaid card or she still likes unicorns so got quite a good choice there wondering why these colours are all the same but of course it's the Lion King and the Lion King isn't it? Oh silly lit. <laughs> they will be because the cats have got the same colours on them. Oh dear. Right so we're up to 437 on that one and 437 on that one. Oh, I do like it now that these are all um in these little bags and I know that whenever I've got one to just put away then there is a little packet there for it that was one that's just escaped oh they're a bit staticky let's get as many as we can out oh they're going everywhere look jumping jacks oh Millie's wearing a few now as well that's okay I actually managed to have one in the toilet the other night don't ask me how it got into the toilet well, I presume I must have been sat on some or something, and I don't know. 
it's like sand these drills they seem to get everywhere and just when you think you've cleared them all up there's another one sparkling at you on the carpet hubby now tells the nurses that come to the house now just excuse the sparkle on the carpet it's my wife <laughs> Seven eight two is the next one. Put seven eighty there. Uh, we've got six oh six there. So let's do six oh six, not six 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 oh six, which is a nice sort of cherry red colour. Okay. Do you think I'm spilling less by putting them in the trays now rather than trying to put them straight into the bags? <laughs> Possibly, possibly. Okay. Oops, oh, that's a bit of trash there. Look, we'll just get rid of that. Put that straight into the bin. No point in putting that in the drills. So that's six or six. Oops. Put that one in there. So six or six, four, four, five. So I want that one four three seven, yeah, and then they're on to seven eight. So right, four four five is the next one. So they've gone out of order. Look, it's gone six oh six, then four four five. So that's just trying to confuse me, and I'm easily confused. Okay, oops. That's those. And, oh, look, I am spilling now. That's those. Just tip those into that corner. That's that. So that's four, four, five. Put away. In the rounds. Let me just move these across a bit so I can see them a bit better. Oops. That's it. Ah. Right, and I've not got many of those. So. So we've got Oops, another spare one going to bed in. I've got to keep that one close because I can't see it. <laughs> four, four, five, then we're on to six, oh, four. Six, oh, four is a really bright pink. I like that one. Right, I'm going to take the bag out of this one. I think that will make it less messy. Right, it's still got some in it, look. Those out of there. Oh, what am I doing? I'm tipping them in the wrong bag. Got that much on my brain at the minute. I'm trying to think what to make for uh, our evening meal. I don't know what to do. I've been eating a lot of eggs, but I don't think they're going to be very good on a an unsettled tummy. So I think. It'll just be something light. Toast's a really good thing to have when you've got an upset tummy. 6.05. So I may just do some nice toast. Or cereal. Cereal's quite nice and comfort food as well. But we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we've got... Uh, Quite a few hospital appointments coming up, chasing up uh, all things that they found while he was in hospital. So I think it's going to be our second home for a while. But as long as it's doing good, then that's all that matters. So, oh, we have got red 666. Okay. Oh, we did have uh, some appointments um, at the eye hospital because uh, he has injections in his eyes every four weeks um, to stop him from losing his sight. And uh, we got all the way there. And, uh, 
they said oh you've been in hospital and I asked all these questions and then she said oh mm, I think I'll have to go and have a word with the doctor and then uh, she came back and said nope sorry the doctor says I can't do it because you've been in hospital and we're not sure that we can do it so we've gone all the way to the hospital and he's got himself all worked up and then he didn't have anything done so yeah that wasn't great I know hospitals are busy, but goodness me. I mean, that was an appointment somebody else could have had as well, rather than us turning up and then being turned away. And they have to clean everything down. And we've still got uh, social distancing in the hospitals. Well, social distancing everywhere, but um, they've put these Perspex things in now. And uh, for whatever reason, they've put these like Perspex partitions and there's just one chair in each one. Um, and some of them have two chairs in and there's big notes up saying, do not move the chairs, which is great. But then when you turn up with a wheelchair, there's nowhere for the wheelchair to go. <laughs> so you end up just blocking the pathways, which, oh dear. The nice to do. I've not thought about that, have they, when they've done this? No, sadly not. Hindsight's a marvellous thing. Right, 7.40 is a bright orange. Nice sunny day. Let's not moan today. Let's have a nice sunny day. So we have a new cat on the block as well. So somebody must have moved in round about. Um, and it's a big black cat. Really leggy. Um, haven't had any encounters with it yet, but see it stalking up and down the street. So, see what uh, Millie makes of that one if she comes across it. Uh, 775, 780, 782, so 780, uh, 775 is the next one. Yeah, so we have an awful lot of cats. Mind you, we have a lot of dogs around here as well. Uh, one of Millie's friends um, is Oscar, he's another Scottish Terrier. And that uh, is absolutely besotted with Millie and she just runs around him and plays basically. She just likes all the attention, which who wouldn't, from a nice good looking fella. <laughs> and then there is another Oscar, which is a Spaniel and he's quite sweet as well. So she met both of them at once the other day. So all three of them were running around the field. And uh, yeah, I think Millie had an absolute whale of a time. Right, 780 is that one. So 780. Still in the same box, still in box one. These little baggies will last a lot longer as well. These cheaper ones are okay, but after one or two uses, so as you're taking things out of them, they start tearing, and you can find that the openers don't work very well either. So I tend not to keep a lot of these. I just use them for spares as I'm going along. And that's what I get done. So seven, eight, zero. Oops, put that one back there. I'm not putting these on the floor, by the way. I've got a little container. <laughs> it's only me that I'd have to pick it up anyway. Seven, eight, two. So. Yep, they're the same colour from that one, so I'll 782. Uh, yeah, what I do is separate the little packets that the drills come in um, from the plastic. So I need to look up whether I can reuse these bags again or whether I can recycle them. I'm not sure. The plastic packets, I don't think, will go in the recycling uh, that the drills come in, but the baggies might, so I'll have to have a look and see because they're a mixture some of these baggies are better than others so I may be able to get another use out of them I think I've um, shown you before what I do when I get the packet of drills as I'm uh, working on a project I just cut the top off and um, put all the drills into my tray then when I've finished using the drills that I am on the project I put the little packet in there so I can see the letter most of the time and then put all the drills in there so if I've missed one I've still got the letter and obviously for de-kitting as well I've got the letter and I can use that but once uh, the drills are put, put away then I don't need those again okay let's 
this is turning into a bit of a longer video than I thought. Possibly in future I will just do an odd one. And an odd kit. Oops. Oh, that's a different colour. We'll get rid of that one. End up with gems everywhere, drills everywhere. So I do. Put that one away over there. Right, so what's the next one? Seven, eight, three on that one. Seven, eight, three on that one. Okay. Ooh, got a lot of different colours in this one, goodness me. Evening. Those look, you can see that's I and F 783 on both of them, but they are actually slightly different colours. It's, it's from the same manufacturer, uh, so it's just as you get a slightly different dye lot. But, uh, just put them all in the same one. Well, you, you've got roughly the right shade if you do need some spares or if you work on a project that uh, needs them. I was looking at um, Heaven and Earth designs the other day. Now, it's not something that I'm anywhere near ready to attempt yet. And there, whereby you order a cross stitch background, a cross stitch canvas, and it has all the numbers and everything converted to your four diamond painting. And then you use your own drills or you buy the drills separately to go onto that canvas and work on it basically as a blank canvas. They have started doing them in colour now as well. Um, so it's something to think about for using up spare drills. But goodness me, they take some doing. It's like making up your own. I have thought actually there are some um, computer programs, or there used to be, where you could make your own cross stitch picture from uh, your own photographs. And I did think Ooh, maybe you could do a, make it as a cross stitch picture and do it into a diamond painting. But that's for a future time at the moment I'm nowhere near good enough to be able to do that right so I'm on to 818 there they're just the crystals now so I don't need that one so I'll just put this on there for now so 783918 on that one I've got 816 there I've done 775 818 have I got 818 in this box yes I have Goes up to 819 in this box. Okay. And then the next one is 915. And I'm 918 there, so I'll get on to box two. You'll be pleased to know. Get those popped into there. So is that all box one done? They're all specials, they're all nines. Yep, they're all nines. Okay, so let me get box two now. Oops. And put box one away. And I have got shelves next to me, not just to again throw anything. Well, I am throwing things around because it's not going back on the shelves straight. <laughs> Oh dear. Right. So, what number did we have? I've got a hair grip there. I don't know why I've got a hair grip on the desk. So, 915 there. And 918. So, 915. Try and keep those separate because they're starting to merge in together. And I know what I'm like. 915. Place. That's not the right colour. Just pick the wrong one up. That's because that's that one and that's that one. I've got these the wrong way around, haven't I? So that's that one. Oh dear me. You wouldn't think it'd be so difficult, would you? To, <laughs> to talk and do this at the same time. Obviously it is. Right. 915, 
that one. static there as well. So, Millie is now snoring under the desk if you can hear her. She's uh, just having a bit of a snore. She's been very very clingy at the moment. I think it's because we had to go out to the hospital um, on Thursday and just uh, put them in the box and leave her and she does get a bit clingy when she's being left. Um, I mean, she did used to get get left. My hubby and I both worked full time. Um, just over two years ago, we were both working full time until uh, our lives changed. Um, so she was left about four or five hours at the most on her own. Um, and she was fine with it. You know, she got into a routine as dogs do. Uh, we more or less had different days off. So, you know, it was only a couple of days, about, well, maximum three days a week that she was four or five hours on her own, which, uh, you know, she was fine with. But obviously, with hubby being poorly, um, and then people used to come and look after her because I didn't know how long I was going to be at the hospital. One, nine, three, eight, next. And then uh, we had, as soon as he came out of hospital, we then had lockdown. So we had a year where we're like self-isolating. So... We weren't going out there neither, so she's got used to now having people with her all the time. Um, and she does pick up when hubby's poorly. She does go and sit um, at his feet and look after him. But if she knows he's all right, well, I mean, he's poorly today, but she's come up here with me for whatever reason. Probably just to annoy me and try and get in on the video act. Uh, she does like to be in know what's going on it's probably because i'm talking as well so she thinks there's somebody else here she does look at me and think who are you talking to but uh, yeah i mean that you know if you're married and you've got a hubby you're probably used to talking to yourself anyway <laughs> sorry didn't mean that didn't mean that no offense no offense nine three nine four six is the next one and i read a joke somewhere the other day why do women talk more than men and it's uh, because women have to repeat everything. <laughs> oh dear, sorry, it just made me chuckle. I say no offence to anybody. But I just thought that was really funny. Yeah, so where are we up to now? 938. Just done 946. Yeah, we've just done 946. So we're on 963. Okay, so it's just these nines. No, 93. What did I say? 963. Oh, DMA. Look at my memory. Not good, not good. Lots of different colours in this one. Lots of different colours. Okay, I hope you're still with me, and if you are, thank you for staying with me. Now, this has turned into a longer video than I expected, but I will keep with it. I will keep going. Nine, six, three, nine, nine, five. Didn't want to come out of the packet. Look at the colours on these. These are just superb. They say that we've had one bit of trash, I think, as we've been going through, but on the whole, really good quality. I do like the journals. 995. I've got 996 stuck in there. Look, just to put those away in the wrong one last time. Uh, and then I'm on 3834. So they're all gems, resin gems as well. So that's those. That's those. Oh, that's those spare ones. I'll put those out of the way. So we've just got this one to finish then. Oops, there's another one. So I want 3843. 
three, seven, seven, eight. So three, seven, seven, eight is there. which is used a lot instead of black it's getting quite a full bag there okay, craft buddy don't tend to use much uh, black on their paintings i think the trouble is with the black gems um i think the quality control because the amount that the mushrooms possibly isn't as uh, brilliant as on some of the others so you know it's law of averages if you've got more black gems than any other color then you're going to get more um faults in them so three six seven nine p is three eight four three And that's in box three. So we are now on to box three. Yep, that's five two hundred. That's the white. Which yeah, I think you can see there. There was there has been a little bit of a problem with some of uh, the whites on these. Um, that's got a little bit of mixed colour, not as bad as some of the others that there have been. But I used my own, so I'm not going to put those away with my drills. In fact, I might even keep those separate because I do actually quite like that colour. Um, right, so that's that one is completely done. So that will go in my little uh, log book of diamond painting. So I've just got gems and that one to put, up, to put box two away. Okay, so let's get these. As you can see, uh, some of my gems are getting pretty full now. I just put a black piece of card behind them because then it shows uh, the colours better. So you get a better idea of what colour there are. If you put white, it doesn't show up as much, but black seems to show the colours up better. So, yeah, I've got an awful lot of those. <laughs> but this is what I need to sort out. This is where I need to be. But let's get these put away. These are uh, 3843. That's the end of the resin gems. Okay, three, eight, four, three. So again, quite a few different colours in there as well. But at least they're all in the same place. Okay, so that's those done right. Now then, let's have a look at everybody. Everything over here, get those out. And I've got my little, I'm just going to use these spare batteries at the moment. I've got those. So it's number 29. So, did I have a number 29 in gems? Let me have a look. Because I just want the crystal gems. So, I've got a 1, 2, 4, 2, 1, 0, 3. 42, 26. Oh, I've not got a number on that one. Oh, for, oh no, I've not got a number on that one. That one's eight. And there's the ABs. So I wonder why I didn't put a number on that one. That was silly, Liz. Oh dear. Never mind. Right, I can maybe trace it. I'll have to look back at my videos. <laughs> okay, so have I got any of these numbers on these? I've got four. So, the crystals on Winnie the Pooh are four. Nope, I haven't got that one. 23, nope. And 46, nope. And then we've got 29, nope. And 78. Okay, so I want five bags and five numbers. So, let me grab a pen. So, I'm hoping by doing this, I will eventually, as I'm putting them away, like with my others, have these done. 
so we want the roll around so we want an o of four an o of 46 oops o of 23 that's not very good o of 29 and o of 78 so rather than using my good baggies, I'm just going to use these for now because I think I'm going to be getting an awful lot of these as well. So this one is G, which is 29. So as I go along with these, I'm going to be collecting more and more of the gems so I can get these done. It, then it'll be more organised and I do like to be organised I don't like just having bits not sorted out and things just hanging around so that'll be 29 I'll go there get rid of that bag and then 78 and how many different shades there are in these gems I bet there's hundreds I really do bet there is hundreds so I'll end up with another box full of all different colours of these. But I am using a lot of these up now on my stamps. Um, and I've started doing my uh, craft board. I'm going to put the bottom as uh, blackboard and then the craft word in the MDF that's at the top um, will actually have then all uh, crystals on it. I think it's probably going to be pink a lot, you know what I mean? I don't like my pink. So this is a lovely ruby red, poppy red. Okay, so this one is number four. And these are my spare stickers that I've got from Rebecca for Kids at 147. She sells these in her shop. And I do like them. And it just makes everything look nice. And they do actually although they stick to the bags they're quite easy to peel off and move as well so when I get them sorted hopefully I can then just take them off and put them in the new bags okay and then we have number 23 which is this one Yeah, movement downstairs so I'll just finish these off and I'll go and make sure that hubby is okay he hasn't shouted me which you know he does and he knows to shout me um, and I'm quite happy for him to shout me you know sooner him let me know if he needs me rather than be struggling that was a big bag That's a bit better This is the last one. So I'm sorry if this has turned into a, a bit of a longer video than normal. But uh, yeah, it's just sort of de-kitting and having a bit of a chat and getting lots of interruptions. <laughs> I swear there's a little button that when I shut my craft room door and start recording that button just goes off and people ring up and come round and the neighbours start making a noise and everything goes chaotic but hey ho right so that's those gems put away so I hope uh, you've enjoyed watching this maybe it's given you some ideas of your de-kitty and what to do with spare diamonds uh, I know some people do just throw them away I can't, I'm just not that kind of person I have to keep things in case I need it so thank you ever so much for watching if you have enjoyed it then please press that like button and if you want to see the next videos if you press subscribe you'll be notified when the next one comes out thanks for watching i'll see you all again in the next one bye for now